LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. All right, so we're going to install the uh, the key kit onto your keyboard, and we're going to do the K. So we have to look at the metal pieces uh, that are on the keyboard itself. You can see that at the top uh, corners, there's two large hooks, and at the bottom ones, at the bottom here, uh, on the corners, there's two small metal loops. But um, look really carefully because you can see they're all vertical except for this one here this one is kind of laying on its side and yeah that's not going to allow the mechanism to work so you have to bend that back in place you know have to just bend it forward again in order for it to be standing vertically All right so that's straight and all the other ones are straight. Also keep in mind there's hooks on the top and loops at the bottom because that determines the position for the hinges. Now uh, we're going to determine the position for the hinges first for the large one here. You can see that it has two pins at the top and two larger ones at the bottom and these go wherever the loops are. The, the larger ones go wherever the loops are so if the loops were to be on top then you, were, you have to face that accordingly but they're at the bottom so leave it like this then make sure not to put the entire piece upside down because though it looks the same it won't work so just feel the vertical bars here if there's a bump in the middle that faces and touches the keyboard and the other side has to be smooth so that's the right position for that put it down for now and you get your next piece which is this and you can see that it has two large pins at the bottom two at smaller ones at the top and two in the middle. The middle ones click onto the holes that are in the middle of the large piece there. So um, make sure not to put this whole piece upside down like that by feeling the entire piece. If you feel that the bottom half is thinner than the top half that faces away from the keyboard and if you feel that the whole thing is one smooth thickness from top to bottom that faces and touches the keyboard. So now what we're going to do is put the small part, the small piece underneath the large piece and click those pins onto those holes. So you just want to do one side first and then do the other side. You might even want to uh, flip the whole thing over just so you can see the pins you have to separate the both pieces from each other in order for that pin to go in. Once you're done with that, flip it back over to the correct position and you need to put those um, the hooks that are at the top go, I mean the pins that are at the top go where the hooks are at the top right there. So once you have those in onto the hole, onto the uh, pins, the pins underneath those hooks, we need to put the bottom pins into those metal loops. So go ahead and do one side first, and then uh, once that one's in, you push your hinges over to the opposite side in order for the uh, other pin to have enough space to go into its loop. So we have everything in place, then you just put your keycap in the center and push down evenly on all four sides. 
same thing for the large key which is an enter key uh, the only thing is this one is from side to side like I said so be careful with that then uh, you have to insert this wire at the very very top fittings of the keycap then you open up your wire like this and turn it over to the right side and flip it so you can see the bottom side now this wire goes in the fittings that are to the very left and right so go ahead and insert those then you just lay your key down onto the hinges and that's it same thing for the space bar put your hinges down your rubber cup and then you put the wire at the very top of the uh, keycap turn it over and look at the bottom side and put the wires into those fittings that are at the very left and right and turn your keycap over onto the hinges then you just um, click the keycap onto the hinges and that's it laptopkey.com your source for replacement keyboard keys notice when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard.